Yep. Yep. Because then it starts getting steep again. Jason would be proud. <laughs> so we're out here today exploring a new piece of public land, which is kind of foreign for the both of us, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, we checked one out last summer, but and that was cool. We did find some sign. The weird thing about that other piece, though, is there was no real food source to pinpoint, and it was just browse. So we're hoping to find some oaks, maybe some beech trees in here that are dropping. So we'll take you along for the journey. Uh, We've already seen where, kind of like looking at the map, what the contours are doing and where the deer sign is showing up. Yeah. And we're, we just kind of came up to this bench right here. It's kind of flattening out compared to where we came up from. And it's pretty cool to start putting it together with the contour lines, looking at a map. It's starting to make more sense. It definitely so we've is. We've never really done that, a whole lot of that, up no. to now. No, and the nice thing is, is if you guys can't see, uh, it's steep. It's very steep. So for you guys that are in the Midwest, I, I envy you right now. So I mentioned this on my podcast a few times. In Vermont, in the areas I hunt, you know, when you're looking for deer trails, I mean, it's, it's very faint, but we're looking at stuff like this where you almost have to just be able to see the general path, path they're taking. It's not necessarily always a, like a cattle trail. Yeah. Beat down like crazy. Your main hope is they use it more than once. <laughs> yeah. But you never know, and that's one of the fun parts about hunting here is because it is so hard. Uh, you know. All right, Ethan, what you finding at the moment? What am I finding at the moment? Well, you see, <laughs> we've come up here on this little bench and tucked up to thick pine softwood, which we would assume is probably a good bedding area. Come out here a little ways, and there's a few, four or five good beech trees that have quite a few nuts on the top of them, and there's already some on the ground, which is a good sign. Yeah, and then if you look off this way, I just notice you see a lot more softwoods developing again. Yeah. So we might be in like a little hardwood tunnel right here. And then uh, another thing you might not be able to see on the camera, but appears to be a creek bed or something running right along here. So yeah, there's a little brook running. Yeah, I want to head up this way, and I think we're going to find some things. And off of the way the sun's hitting up there, I'd say we're getting close to the, the clearing in the flat. So I'm thinking we're coming into quite the, the honey hole right now. So here's that little creek I was just pointing out. And uh, you can see this crossing right here, got some good trampled down, and then there appears to be an old skitter trail across the way, so they're probably probably cutting from that skitter trail that's looping around, and uh, heading this way towards us, and I bet you they're going over there for bedding. Or maybe up on top there, it looks, I was about to say, yeah, it looks like it gets real thick up on top there. That right there looks like a whole bunch of freaking whips and some nasty stuff. On the search for oaks. We're probably already in three quarters of a mile, so when we do find them, we'll either be looking for another access point into this property, and or we're gonna have a hike and a half, so that's okay. Low, low understory. One frustrating thing is about hunting the big woods, Ethan. Would you agree that there's a lot of bedding areas? It's not yeah, like... It seems like everywhere you look like it could be bedding. Yeah. Hard to pinpoint them. So one thing I've learned already, me and Ethan have scouted a few times together. Every maple is actually an oak tree. It is. Yeah. Until you look at the leaves yeah. and then it turns into a maple again. From so, a distance they always look like. Yeah, so you get really excited followed by, no, it's still Vermont and it's just another maple. And uh, so it's it's been an adventure so far though. Big and clumpy. Uh, so situation update. Ran into a bear hunter, it appears, so we kind of veered off from where we wanted to be. Bear season here, early season starts 
September 1st, so didn't really expect to see anybody because there's not a lot of bear hunters, but it is what it is when you're on public, so game plan's changing. I'm gonna try to follow this edge, maybe look up a few flats that way, and then uh, probably from there head back to the truck, and there might be another access point to the uh, higher part of the property, so we're gonna check that out. If not, we will uh, maybe check a different, few different other properties today. So plan, adjust, and just keep going. Indication. It starts to flatten up, up above us, a little bit to a clear cut. And then uh, it'd be a very unpleasant fall this way. So there's kind of a bit of a, I don't know, would you call it a bench? A little more. Just slightly more convenient to walk on. Saw some big deer poop just back there, that last little clip, so who knows, maybe this is a buck just cruising just off of the path and a little less action here, so never know. All right, so on our way out, found some decent stuff. Didn't get to explore this side as much as we'd like. What do you think, Ethan? Found some good sign, some good what we would call benches where we kind of pick them out on the map and there was good deer trails there um, not necessarily the easiest to get to careful I'm gonna eat <laughs> shit over here um, but yeah it was definitely worth the time checking out what we did and uh, I think we're gonna try to swing around and maybe access the piece from a different point and poke around there and see what we can come up with. Yeah. Um, this piece seems to only really have two main points of entry, unless if you can come in from private or put your four wheel drive on and go up to that. Yeah. So I, I almost had to engage four-wheel drive on my personal being a few times yep. so fun hike though there's definitely deer here i mean for the loop we did in this couple of main areas we wanted to check we did find quite a bit of deer sign yeah i really like that bench area near that skitter road we found at the beginning yeah it's not too bad to get there and now that we know where this main little drag goes even better right so and there were some we found a couple more spots with a few beach nuts but that first little bench zone we found close to a bedding area had a creek crossing and a pretty high volume of beach nuts which is which is good so i think that'll definitely be worth trying I say definitely during bow season anyways it's not a horrendous hike yeah it's, I mean it's not that I'm not against hiking in far but it's off the with how pack quite a ways with how steep it is here I mean there's a certain practical level of noise you're gonna cause just getting into places right so as a whole we'll probably be here once or twice maybe this year we pinned the spot so we can we wouldn't access that particular spot the way we, we found it because we'd be going through. Just be so close. noisy. It'd be noisy and too close to what we feel is potentially a bedding area next to that travel corridor. So we would probably J hook it depending on the wind direction and yeah. slip in that way. Exciting wildlife, wildlife here in uh, Vermont. The elusive porcupine. Some A quality footage. So we're on the back half of this property now. Managed to find some access. Got a big old clear cut right off the get go. I have a feeling this is pretty heavily hunted. We're also. Uh, right on the property line here so we'll keep going it opens up quite a bit here and uh, be able to kind of get where we wanted to go earlier from this back half so look forward to seeing what it has for us to 
look at for sign so we'll see well we made it into the woods out of the clear cut surprisingly this is actually an easier walk so far yeah the toughest part was just picking through the clear cut trunk. yeah all right we did it we finally found an oak tree Using the binoculars, does not appear to be a lot up in the, the canopy. Small amounts on the ground, so may not be the richest food source, but when there's one oak, sometimes there's a lot, so we're going to keep our eyes peeled. All right, so marking where we are at the moment, uh, I don't know if you can tell from the sky above us, but uh, things will look like they're about to get a little radical, so we're gonna hit this rock wall that separates the two properties and hoping it will be the most direct route back to the truck. And uh, that'll probably be it for the day. Had a good time. I think we found some decent spots for uh, the future. Hey guys, that was a good time. I'm on my way back home now. Uh, weather's getting pretty nasty, if you can see behind me. Uh, had a good time. Probably put four and a half miles on the ground today. Uh, saw a decent sign. Probably worth hunting the uh, the front half that we scouted early. The back half, I think, would probably have more pressure, even though it didn't look quite as nice. It, uh, it, it was easier access, or more instant gratification access, we'll call it. It was a lot more right off the road, so uh, I might get down there. I wouldn't be surprised if Ethan hunts it. Uh, we'll see what happens, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is a video itself, and uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to keep bringing you content and uh, just kind of along the 2021 journey this year and hopefully you guys enjoy it so thanks for watching <laughs>